What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be a quick video about Saw X. We got some updates, a couple of new bits of marketing from the upcoming project, the 10th entry in the long ongoing Saw franchise that began back in 2004 at the helm of James Wan, or with, I should say with James Wan at the helm. Uh, so Saw X's official poster actually leaked yesterday. For those of you who weren't aware before the official release came from Lionsgate late yesterday evening, the poster itself actually leaked and then it got officially released late yesterday and then some of you might already be going how do i know it was leaked well again folks like saw space who know a lot more about this project than i do let me in on the leak and they actually ended up reaching out to lionsgate as they expressed over on reddit who then decided to go ahead and get ahead of these leaks before horror sites began covering it and the poster itself was supposed to drop today but because it was leaked the account that did it was handled it got deleted and then Lionsgate and the official saw pages that you saw late yesterday evening, they dropped it. And this looks like a pretty gnarly poster and already has me wincing at what is on it. Plus, the obvious X pattern is a nice nod to this being the 10th entry. It reminds me of my childhood in a lot of ways in that time in elementary school where Growing up with Saw just being the main distraction me and a lot of friends had in elementary school every year when a new sequel would drop and just talking about it and talking about the poster and what we thought would happen in the next film. Uh, today we also did get a great new look at Billy the Puppet. Well, those who texted this number from the official Saw Twitter page or social media outlets at that point got a good look at this image of Billy and we proceeded to share it over on our social media pages. But I do encourage you to follow the instructions over on the Saw Twitter page so you can also gain access to some exclusives. It's reminded me a lot of the Scream 5 marketing, which I did love, and of course the Scream 6 marketing due to the phone number that you can dial with Tobin Bell giving you instructions on how to play this game, all getting me very excited for the upcoming film. The look at Billy the Puppet, I would say, is nice, and I cannot wait to see the trailer later this, later this weekend, which will hopefully give us an extended look at Billy the Puppet assuming that this trailer is going to end up being released online because it's definitely going to be shown during this panel that saw has happening on saturday at the midsummer scream event for anyone still uncertain about whether to watch this trailer or not josh stolberg had this to say to a fan over on reddit yesterday about if they should avoid the trailer or not they said josh stolberg who we know is part of the project said if that's the way you feel don't watch the trailer although if you've already read the synopsis the trailer won't give away too much extra it's a freaking good trailer though. It's tough because you need a trailer to get an audience excited about the film and it's always a balancing act to make sure you don't give too much away. Whether you watch the trailer or not, there are still a ton of things it doesn't give away. Me being someone who doesn't really give a flip about spoilers, I was gonna watch this trailer either way. I was gonna check it out one way or another, didn't care. I do trust that the trailer will not obviously give away the biggest ingredient to a lot of these soft films, which is the film's final twist of it all, the signature twist if you will. Hell, like I've stated, according to Saw Space, we're going to get a glimpse of the traps in this trailer. John, of course, Billy the Puppet, and cameos from people we know are back and maybe the folks we didn't expect to be back. Also, of course, we'll get a glimpse of some of these corrupt doctors in the Mexico setting. Maybe some other nostalgic locations that you can expect to see back in action during this upcoming film. So, the Midsummer Scream event is going to have a saw x panel or that's where saw x will begin its marketing this weekend this saturday to be exact it's going to kick off with a vip walkthrough exhibit there's going to be a panel afterwards and there's going to be an after party of sorts so our trailer will likely be showing during that panel and if it's not online officially before then descriptions about it are likely to pop up online before it drops sometime the following loop following week i would assume so to get ahead and avoid those descriptions coming up I could see us getting the trailer tomorrow. It's not coming today. I know it is not coming today. We The only thing we're getting today is that glimpse of Billy the Puppet and that phone number that was shared over on the official social media pages from the Saw accounts. But you guys, let me know what you think about these new updates from Saw X down in the comment section below. Does it get you any more intrigued for the upcoming film? What do you hope to see in the trailer? Are you going to watch the trailer? Are you not going to watch the trailer to avoid spoilers? Uh, let me know why down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description. I will have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.